Hey guys, welcome back for another demo. Okay, so it is finally, finally Cat Crafted Baths Coffee Bean time. I've waited through the whole month of October, it seems like, to do this. And as you can tell um, through my window back there, all the crepe myrtle blooms are gone and it is officially fall, which is just absolutely the perfect time to do this bath bomb. Now, this is just one of the coffee beans I have from Cat. I've got like four more and they're all different scents, all different flavors of coffee and this is the pumpkin spice latte and they're all different colors and I could have asked her what color this is but I didn't want to because I wanted to be surprised so I'm just I can't wait it smells so so good it's really nice and strong so I can't wait to get it in the water because I know I'm just going to be super excited to see all the colors that come out of it so um Let's just do it, let's get it in there. I've got a cup of coffee waiting for me over here on the counter and I know that this is just gonna be an awesome bath. So, um, I also always forget to tell you guys, all of her bath bombs come with these adorable little charms and I just take them out of the package and I just, they also come with these just sweet little flower petals and um, charms also. So I just kind of, I always set those aside because the way I do my my demos and I always forget to tell you guys that but they're so so cute so um, I'll try and put that at the end of the video if I can remember a little picture of um, all the little charms I've collected but anyway I just wanted to mention that to you guys and not forget to uh, to tell you that today but anyway let's go ahead and get this coffee bean in the water because I can't wait to see what color it is Now, I'm not surprised at all. Ooh, ooh, look at that action. Um, with the pumpkin spice latte flavor, these colors. Ooh, so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, it smells so good. Look at those colors. Okay, I'm going in for a closer look. And I hate that I've got this glare. I do so oftentimes during the day. Know about this camera work today. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, it just looks like, um, reminds me of like a flame. So pretty, such pretty bath art. I just don't have the best lighting in here today and I know that you guys are tired of hearing me say that, but still, nonetheless, this is absolutely gorgeous.
Okay, so let's look at this final watercolor. It was tricolored a minute ago because the way this, the bomb fizzed out and it was kind of snaking around the tub. Okay, so this color is just, it's like a burnt orange to me. It's like really, really deep and um, very autumn -y. But it's so funny because as dark and as bright as it is, it's still super clear and crystal. Like there's nothing like opaque or foggy about it. It's just, um, it's so, it's very, very, um, I don't know. It's just really, really pretty. I can't explain it, but um, I can see right down to the bottom, super clear. It's really cool looking. All right, let's, um, let's see if we got any bubbles. Okay, so I went and grabbed all my charms that I've collected from Kat so far, and I got a little girl with this one, and the one before, I think I got the wing, and then the first one, maybe I got the pig. But anyway, um, and there are the little petals that come with the bombs too. So I wanted to show you guys those. And then I also wanted to show you um, that this has a really cool pattern on the top of the water, and you guys know that I like that. So anyway, we are gonna check out the bubbles now too. We've got some bubbles, not like too, too many. I don't know that if you don't have jets, you're going to get a whole lot, but I definitely, definitely have some. But I love this orange water, so I don't know that I'm going to keep them on. But it definitely has some bubbles, and it smells really good, and it's just so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to hop in the shower as usual, and I will let you guys know how awesome this was when I'm done. See you in a minute. So I'm done with my pumpkin spice latte coffee bean bath from Cat Crafted Baths and I did leave my jets off like I told you I might because I really really thought that this watercolor was just beautiful. Um, and once I got in there the water was super sparkly like I thought that it might be but I don't have a lot of glitter. She does use biodegradable glitter stuck to my skin so I actually prefer that. Also, um, I've been meaning to tell you guys that she, uh, Kat has sensitive skin. I have heard her say that several times. And so if you have sensitive skin, these would be really good bath bombs for you to try. I personally don't have sensitive skin and a lot of things don't irritate me. But if you have sensitive skin, then these would be good for you to try because I know she keeps all of her ingredients in mind for people like her. So um, I hope you enjoyed this demo. I enjoyed it. And as you can see, I forgot to show you, there's really nothing at all left to clean up in my tub. I have not rinsed it down at all. Um, so thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will have more of her bath bombs to demo in the future. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.